I'm a fan of this tall blonde glass of, uh, glass of water. He, 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 he tried to get out of it. He's like, okay, so, cool. So when that happens again, you're just gonna let us die? That's a little flogger. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Theta, this is Justin. Mr. Roboto, I sometimes call him. <laughs> and <laughs> we're here with episode four of Gundam Seed, Silent Run. Why don't you go ahead and tell us what happened last time? Uh, last time, we had our last sort of big encounter and or time spent on the space station that we were in as everything started to fall apart. More big fights in the first big instance of the protagonist just complaining about having to do things during war times. About to see a sword. Uh, and beyond that, there wasn't many questions answered. Well, I mean, there there was. You had the whole coordinator and natural thing. So what is a coordinator? Because the coordinator was said, but... Well, I mean... It, it was just the term being thrown out. I don't know that you know yet, but you know it's somebody that it pulls gun on the moment that they find out that you are one. 100%. So I, I know that it's a thing, and I know that it I, does elicit reactions, but I don't know what, it, what that means and why. I'm pretty sure they indicated that Zaft was mostly them, too. Okay. In that case, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can put together based off the information. Yeah, it's funny, because I'm going over my Gundam Seed notes here to see if there's any of them that are still viable to bring up to you by Episode 4. And I think I'm the only... I've got like a paragraph that I wrote here for something that happens, I think, this episode. And I only kept the note because it had all of my math that I did about timings. And okay. I'm realizing it's also completely invalid because it com the entire timing comparison is comparing a show that you haven't seen yet. Because I'm using another show to prove a point about what's happening here where basically the same exact thing happens. And I can't do that anymore. <laughs> My other problem is Damn. that the top half of my notepad here is filled with uh, observations about episode 17, which are six, uh, which are 12 episodes away from being able to be made. Yep. Then there is also the uh, point that you made out w of if this Gundam isn't taking damage, why are you avoiding damage? Yeah, the plot armor. I mean, power yeah. armor. I mean, whatever we're calling it. Phase armor. That makes exactly. it Some basically... Some sort of armor that begins with a P. Look, I understand it's probably... It's, it's probably the rules of whatever you see happen, happens. Right? Someone's gonna say, well, yeah, but it's not totally immune. He could be taking damage. Well, I mean, it's whatever you care about doing. We saw he didn't take damage. And they're all concerned about not just having Heliopolis get destroyed. So every time he dodges, he's taking the conscious decision to let Heliopolis get destroyed a little bit more. Yep. Yeah. Hey, maybe he just dodged the shots that, that were headed towards the neighborhoods he didn't like. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the first joke that entered my head is obvious to anybody who, you know... Is Kira a racist? Is what my first thought has to be. <laughs> Which neighborhoods? Which neighborhood specifically is he dodging? Not for. Anyway, I think. I should... don't know if that's true, but I'm just saying it's possible. We'll see that when, when we get rolling. I think we should just go ahead and get into it. Absolutely. All right, but before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all of that. If you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just five dollars a month, but hey, no pressure. It's all to support the channel. Just a little bit extra. X 
一マルゴストライク。聞こえているか。応答せよ。エックス一マルゴストライク。応答せよ。ヘリオポリス。こぼれた。聞こえているか。Oh, you did dodge. <laughs> see? At least he's having you see a logical response. Yes. The space whale? Yes, I do. Yep. Don't worry, I have no fucking idea what's about either. The only one here that knew what it was about was Griffin, and he revealed nothing. Good to know. That's a bit of a spoiler. That yeah, th those two are clear, clearly related based off that that shot. Well, you know, I never even considered that. It's spoiling something you don't even know. Because did you get it? Did you get all the names? Names? Did you hundred percent? Did you get even one of the names? Nope. <laughs> So I said, I have no idea what the point of that is. You know what's even more confusing? One of those names is already dead. <laughs> I love it. Miguel is one of those names on there. You might remember Miguel. He died last episode. Okay, so that that was Miguel. Okay. He, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know there was a Miguel. He died last episode, and I guess I'll I'll spoil this bit too. The OP changes, and Miguel never comes back. So he is dead, as far as I can tell. Rest in peace, Miguel. Come on, get it together, man. We just saw his home blow up. Or fall apart, as it were. Yeah. Hey, you remember them, right? In the last four episodes, we surely saw his mom and dad, right? Under. We, we, we must have. で、これからどうするのかな。本館はまだ戦闘中です。ザフトカンの動き掴める。無理です。残骸の中には熱を持つ者も多く、これではレーダーも熱探知も。向こうも同じと思うがね。I俺のボロボロのゼロのみだ。関木の陣容じゃ戦闘はな。最大戦速で振り切るかい。いや、高速艦なんだろう。こいつは。向こうにも高速艦のナスカ級がいます。振り切れるかどうかの保証はありません。な
でも G もこの間も友軍の認識コードすら持っていない状態よ I don't know, I would easily say it's the worst mistake that Kira will ever make as far as I know Bring this pot on Bring the pot on? Yep, that's one for the comment section that's... If you know, you know That's right, comment section I want you to imagine what would happen if Kira did not bring this pot on board <laughs> I'm very curious about this pod now. I don't think about it that much. I'm very curious about this pod now. I'm very curious about this pod now. I'm very curious Also, with the size. Yep, that's right. He had the, the bird in his coat the whole time. The, 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 the massive Gundam can't have a uh, space it where he does not have to have to awkwardly bend down. Well, you see, I was being shot at, and I chose to get out of the way. Get that part? Yep. That she thought she was on a Zaft ship? See, that's, that's big world building right there. Based off that logic, mobile suits are not a human forces thing. Right. Which is why uh, what I was indicating in episode one or two when I said, hey, look, they're only fighting with drones and jets. See? Can't be neutral territory. There were manufacturing weapons. Yeah. And the back to the Bloody Valentine thing, which is in every opening so far. That can't be an important detail that, that, that'll get flushed out, you know? They, they just keep mentioning it. しかし、データを取ればもう構わんさ。使わせてもらう。中域図を出してくれ。ガモフにも策的範囲を広げるよう打電だ。I was a lot more flippant than I was watching this before. Maybe Zaft isn't the bad guy. デコイヨイ。Hot takes. Hot takes. I mean, they did just assault an entire colony of people, ultimately leading to its destruction. We can blame Kira for dodging all we want, but the Kira wasn't the one pulling the trigger either. <laughs> no, no, no. And I'm not saying that that was a good choice to make or a moral thing. I'm more thinking long term. どこかでじっと息を殺しているのだろう。網を張るかな。網ってありますか。三番、デコイ発射。ベザリウスは先行し、ここで敵艦を待つ。ガモフには機動面交差のコースを策的を密にしながら追尾させる。アルテミス星
because we have technological distinctiveness. Fair enough. See, Rusty and Miguel dead. Rusty died episode one, Miguel died in episode two. Or three, I guess, technically. And that's how I'm remembering that their gr uh, green is above red. Because Rusty and Miguel are green suits. Atherin there was a red suit. They sent all their green suited I'm people out first. For both Rusty and Miguel. You are 100% less now than than before. I hope his parents are safe as well because we have developed such such a connection to the to those parents. Well, no, the first time we were talking about Kira's parents. Now this is Sai talking about his parents, or as you know him, Guy Fieri. Oh, got here. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is that episode that I wrote that comment about. Yeah, that was in episode one. He, he, he tried to get out of it, he's like, okay, so, cool, so when that happens again, you're just gonna let us die? That's La Flaga. See, does a confusing thing where I told you about uh, char clones before? Yep. Char has a couple of things specific about him that a couple of characters in Seed kind of get. So there's only one person who wears a mask and is, does that element of Char clonage. But Laflaga has certain elements of being a Char clone himself. Which means nothing to you because you haven't seen Char yet, except for that one part of Origin. <laughs> Uh, picking up that pod was a mistake. I'm s uh, Don't sympathize with I'm him. I'm still curious why picking up the pod was a mistake. Yeah, you'll find out. It's unavoidable. Unless we're in some sort of weird universe where the show is going to change from the show that I watched before. <laughs> in which case, I'm for it. We're watching Gundam Seed on Randomizer? <laughs> oh man. Just think, 10 years from now, that's probably going to be happening. That's probably going to be possible. Get a chatbot to rewrite episodes of Gundam Seed and then put that into the Google make me a video of this. Nah, I don't really want to think about that. That would be weird. The library of Babel of all media. This is where Othman's talking about the fact that he knows the pilot, Kira. Yep. That they went to a preparatory school together. He was the one wearing the Girl, Girl Scout uniform in the flashback. Now he gets to wear a cool red coat. I realized that the comment section was probably going to flame me for us having a conversation over that scene, so I explained what it was about. It's probably a demon, but they only use words to confuse us. <laughs> we have a very small repertoire of shared shows right now, but I'm going to start using them as references to one another as much as I possibly can. Hey, it's all good. I'm here for it. They brought coordinators again, by the way. But... 
Still trying to figure out what a freaking coordinator is. I'm pretty sure they only put it in like the context he's a coordinator like us sort of thing. Not no more actually added info. You know what coordination isn't to coordinate, but... You appreciate yet that her name is Ramius and, you know, it's the whole Red October thing, but we're basically spaceship submarines right now. She's the captain. Basically. Oh, they are stuck in a spot now. Ah. Yeah. And for you in the comment section, I'm not just talking about the thing you might be thinking about. Think of all the other reasons things may have changed if that pod wasn't picked up. Something's gonna happen because of the picking up of this pod. Oh, things are already in motion. I'm just feeling the regret. Oh god. We want to help. Let's go talk to the captain. Yep. トール、みんな。あ、キラ。何どうしたのその学校。僕たちも勘の仕事を手伝うかと思って。人手不足なんだろ。ブリッジに入るなら軍服着ろってさ。軍服はザフトの方がかっこいいよな。階級証もねえから
うまくいくのかなキラミリアリア以後私がモビルスーツおよびモビルアーマーを作ってもらっていいですかよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますこれは、私たちが見ることができます。これは、私たちが見ることができます。これは、私たちが見ることができます。これは、私たちが見ることができます。これは、私たちが見ることができます。これは、私たちが見ることができます。これは、私たちが見ることができます。これは、私たちが見ることができます。Here we go. Oh, yeah, that was the shot just to this drop to get the uh, to get them out. Well, Luke Rocrest Luke、uh, pointed out that it was a confusing shot. They spotted them, they fired. Fair enough. s h o u l d call him Rao from now on. Instead of fucking up his last name, I'm still. Go. Take off. Good to go. Okay, so now they have three of them? No, you're looking from the other side. Okay. That was Zaft's force fighting them. Remember, we already covered the fact that Earth doesn't have mobile suits. So this is all t h e y v e got. That's why I was confused. This is why Flay thought that she was on a Zaft ship because there was a mobile suit. Yes. And of course, they cut the episode there. But yeah,、uh, the other ships still have the ones that they stole, which there was what they talked about at the beginning of the episode when r a o was saying, Well, we've already taken the information from them. Now we can use them without having to worry about anything. Which is what the captain of that、mm-hmm. ship was saying. We'll just we can't、it. use them, they're、yeah. our prize. So now they're being launched out against the Archangel and the、uh, Strike. I had to pause for a moment because I can't. I'm wondering similar model. I'm having a hard time remembering which thing is which and which show. I wonder if the, they're all similar in model or all slightly different. different They all have different code names and numbers,、things. as you remember from that half second that you saw in the opening. It's true. 100. Since I've seen the code names twice now, I've memorized them all, and I know all the details about them because you had so much time to see them. That's right, next episode is that one. Phase shift down. Okay. That doesn't seem、yeah. like it's going to be a great episode for us. Well, you, you, saw it. you saw it on screen, but you just don't know because you don't recognize it. Because, right,、uh, there's no way to describe it to you without ruining it, so I'm just going to wait until it happens. But you saw it, you just don't recognize it. The source of most of my joy when it comes to making fun of this show. I cannot wait. I mean, I, my two things for this episode are literally hey, everyone in the comments, just imagine with me what would happen if he didn't pick up that pod. And the realization I that I only had one thing、yet. and not two things. Um, this sets up a big fight coming up. I also think our protagonist is about to get 
absolutely Matt destroyed. This show has a reputation for its main character where the, he has a nickname a very specific nickname among both its fans and those that deride it that I'm not going to give away because eventually I'm sure one of our commenters is going to put it in a comment so got it I'm looking forward to hearing this nickname when we get a comment that says it. And unfortunately, you weren't here for Gundam 00, which had a, ca a similar type of character, not sharing Kira's attributes, mind you, just for a thing that that character did that Kira will do as well. Got it. Many times. Now, the only thing I'm questioning is, will the nickname be as cool as the nickname that I gave Edward of metal? Oh. That's Sorry, you said Edward, and my the same thing that I told you would happen when we were watching Full Metal Alchemist was I was going to think you meant uh, Cowboy Bebop. I think I said that then, too. Yep. Because there was the Cowboy Bebop has Radical Ed. Radical Edward. So. Oh, so we Eddie. will see if the nickname uh, works. Well, I've, I'm hoping somebody will just make it in a comment just so we, you know, we get there. But <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Anyway, I mean, you, um, it, it's also on the Discord. It's been said a hundred times already. So I don't doubt it. Um, as for everything else. There's, I like the exposition. I like the setup and building to conflict and not just having it be fight after fight after fight. The one thing that somewhat pulled me out a touch was that civilians could just go up and talk to the captain. Well, I think that pro that's a result of them being understaffed, right? They don't have anybody to stop them from going up and talk to the captain. Fair enough. Because there's nobody else there. I think it's, what, six six people? No, because there's some people we saw in the cargo bay. There might be, like, a total of under 15 people on this whole ship. Yeah. And some of them are doing, like, engineering jobs and shit. So there's, like, nobody... I don't, you yeah, imagine how many parts situation. of the ship have to be guarded against, like, sabotage and everything, too. It's true. That's what, That's why you may don't take on a lifeboat. Also, it's legitimately fight after fight after fight because literally they're coming from one fight and they're still trying to escape it. So it's four episodes of one yep. constant fight. 100%. All right. Well, is that everything? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that is. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap up here for today. I'm in Theta, this is Justin, we are Stoneface Reactions, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video, and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?